Hi there, I'm Jen and I just wanted to talk a little bit about the solar system that we have on our trailer and how it's working out for us. So we have the Go Power Overlander package. It has a 190 watt panel on the roof and then we have a 30 amp PWM controller that it came with. And for our batteries, we have two six volt golf cart batteries. Now we like to camp in the shade and that doesn't always work out well with solar. It has been a real struggle for us to get our batteries back up to 100%. We have a little side panel and that's worked out really well to get our batteries back up to 100%, but it requires us moving it around, trying to chase the sun, and you basically have to have a whole day that you could stay in camp to make sure that you're moving this panel at the perfect spot so that you can get enough sun to charge your batteries back up. And so we decided to add a second panel. We got the expansion panel that goes with the Go Power Overlander set. It's an additional 190 watt panel and it's wired in parallel. With the two panels together, we have a total of 380 watts of solar now. So we wanted to see how our system works now. So this is just kind of a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how a dry camping trip went with our two 190 watt panels using our 30 amp PWM controller. So it's all the Go Power Overlander package. And for this test, we were parked in partial shade, which is our preferred type of campsite. We weren't under redwoods, but there were still tall trees and the panels were still partially shaded. So when we parked, it was at 100%. After just a few minutes of using some lights and using the water pump, the battery went down to 87%. And then a few minutes later, it was back up to 100%. When we came in for the night, the trailer was at 73%. And we did have the big awning light on the entire time that we were outside. When we were all ready for bed, the batteries were reading at 80%. So when we woke up at 7 a.m., it showed the batteries were at 68%. So we started to get some coffee ready. So we turned on the stove to boil some water. And then we also turned on the light and the fan on top of the stove. And the batteries went down to 66%. It stayed at 66 all morning. We did some dishes, we turned the furnace on, we got ready and it remained at 66%. So we went out, went on a hike and when we came back, the campsite still seemed pretty shady, but the batteries were back up to 100%. And they just stayed at 100% throughout the day. At about 5 p.m., we started getting back to that point where any time I turned on a light or the water pump, the batteries went down to 87%. After we were done doing the dishes from dinner, the batteries went down to 66%. And during that time, we had had the water pump, the water heater, and the lights on for about 20 minutes. When it was time for the kids to go to bed, the batteries were at 70%. After that, we turned on the TV and the batteries dropped down to 62%. But they stayed there the whole time that we were watching TV. And in the morning, we woke up and it still showed the batteries as 62%. That morning, we spent a lot of time just hanging out at camp. It never really felt that sunny to us. But then by 1030, the batteries were back up to 100%. So we were really happy with that. The second panel was a huge help. It made it so we didn't need to use the side panel at all, which is great because our solar on side plug actually broke off on our last camping trip and we haven't had time to repair it yet. So we were really happy that we were able to get our batteries back up to 100% just by using the panels on the roof. We do still have to watch our battery consumption, but that seems to have a lot more to do with our battery than our solar setup. The battery, like I said, is a six volt golf cart battery. And so those can't be depleted more than 50%. The solar setup did a great job of getting our batteries back up and charged. There's just limitations with the lead acid golf cart batteries. And that was really our drawback this trip. So that is great news. And we're really happy with this upgrade.